Spending time in Stewart has been fun, even when it's raining. It's actually kind of cool. You yeah. left me hanging. Farmers markets, concerts, and restaurants are just a short walk from our marina. Celery, squash, cabbage, mango, avocado, apple, banana, maca powder, matcha powder, spirulina powder, wild bath root, which is tree of life from Africa. It's got sea moss, oatmeal, honey, and alkaline water. I'm impressed that you remembered all those ingredients. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But we're also preparing for the Bahamas. Are we done? For now. Although it was only $850 roughly. So if this takes us through six months, it will be a bargain. Hi, I'm Monica and this is Darren. We sold our house and everything that went with it to buy a boat and live on the water. Together with our dog, Captain Kaya, we're cruising the southern islands of Florida, the Bahamas, and the Caribbean, meeting the people, sampling the food, and learning the culture of these unique tropical places. So come with us and follow our Yard to Yacht journey on your home TV as we go seeking adventure. So here we are, Saturday morning. Uh, way earlier than normal not that early but it's not even eight o'clock yet and we're out and about and we haven't been able to shake the, the irritation of not finding the wreck last time we were at George's uh, Valentine yeah. at Hutchinson Island so we are going back heading back to the wreck hopefully this time we'll find it and we're going to be biking and the real feel today is about 115 to 120. So it'll be good to get in the water, <laughs> that's for sure. And to go really early. So yeah. we're hoping too that we won't have the waves that was there last time. And it looks like it's going to be calm in the morning. So, yep. so here, here we go. go. Here Fingers we go. crossed that we'll find it. With the sweltering heat on a bike, we were starting to second guess our decision to not call an Uber. We crossed over St. Lucie River and the ICW, which both offers spectacular views from above. I don't know if I have energy to uh, swim out to the wreck. We'll see what's left of me. I think I forgot. Uh, how out of shape I am, really. five pieces of this wreck around this area and we tried to cover it strategically but still there's nothing i wonder too if if a lot of these pieces might be uh, covered with sand i've read that uh the, the bottom here changes all the time so we might be very close but so far we haven't seen anything but we're gonna look some more
good experience. You disappointed? Oh, I mean, we came an awful long way. Second time I've been swimming out to that wreck, and, and yeah, sure, I'm a little disappointed that we didn't find it. It wasn't as rough today as, as the other day when we tried, but um, it's rough enough that it's worked up. So it's just very, even in like five to 10 feet of water, it's tough to see the bottom. Pretty beat, how about you? Yeah, that was really a, a tough day, and it wasn't very successful. And it was a lot longer than I thought because neither one of us really checked the total distance. <laughs> Turned out to be 6.6 .6 miles one way. So we certainly got our exercise done yeah. today. Plus, plus being out in the ocean when you're snorkeling, that's, it's tiring. It was a good day, but we didn't find the wreck. Didn't find the wreck, no. And that's the second time that we've tried to find the wreck. And uh, I talked to the, um, I don't know what you would call his job title, but he, he kind of oversees the House of Refuge. He's like the gatekeeper. Gatekeeper, sure. Housekeeper, maybe. But no, not the housekeeper. Gatekeeper. Gatekeeper. But he said that several other people have told him recently that they weren't able to find it um, because the water is a little rough and that kicks up the sand. And so you really can't see more than 10 feet. Yeah. down or in any direction before you just kind of lose your, your ability. So, so anyhow, that's that's where we're at. If you don't know where it's at, if you're just going out there like we are, just kind of scanning the whole area, it's just about impossible. You probably would have more luck if you were scuba diving. Yeah, because you can get a little closer uh, to the bottom where the wreck is, yeah. for sure. Yeah, right. we don't have scuba gear and we certainly couldn't have biked there with scuba gear. So, but the water was nice and refreshing, warm actually. So uh, yeah, it was it was a good day. I'd say it was a good day. I'd say it was a great day, but I found myself when we were looking for the wreck, kind of looking forward to crystal clear Baham Bahamas water. Yeah. <laughs> so because then you could see, you know, I guess as far as you can see on land, right? Yeah. We'd have found it if we had that kind of. Yeah, apparently it's like bathtub water, so that's coming up soon enough. Yeah, a few more weeks here in Stewart, and our adventure will continue in the Bahamas. Preparing for the Bahamas is a big job. Boat projects and provisioning take skill and money. Provision for the Bahamas. We're gonna buy the bigger bags of everything. How many bags of chips do we need for six months? A lot. How is it driving without air conditioner? Oh, I think it's a Jeep is wonderful. It's kind of cool. We always wanted to have a Jeep. Now we have one for a month, thanks to Don and Gary. Yeah, thank you, Don and Gary. Appreciate it. Are we done? For now, although it was only $850 roughly. So, I mean, that's a lot of money for food, but it's food for six months. So if this takes us through six months, it will be a bargain. I also wanted to splurge a little before our Bahamas trip and some expert advice along the way is always helpful. Linda, you are like the guru of what to wear where. We're gonna go out and do some shopping. I am thrilled that you guys are having me and hosting me. Um, what to wear where, um, I'm not the guru, but I love fashion and I love to uh, figure out what to wear when you go different places. And so we're gonna explore Stewart today. We're gonna look at some of the fashions that they have. And then also maybe we'll have a little sneak peek for your next uh, adventure in uh, what? Bahamas! <laughs> so we are here in Musk Boutique here in Stewart, Florida, What to Wear Wear with Yard to Yacht. And we're very excited to show and help Monica from Yard to Yacht um, looking at different styles to get her out of her comfort zone and out of some of her practical wear and get her into some of uh, a little ele elevated um, stylish wear. So every woman has their own style. 
So, and you have to feel beautiful with what you're wearing. Yeah. Um, and so we are with the challenge right now of going to the Bahamas. So we want to do something light, but we still want to do something colorful, but we also want to elevate a little bit of like what the normal boater would be wearing. Like you are very practical in your, practical. In your, <laughs> in your style, which is usually shorts and a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. And I think we found a couple things that I feel like would go well for your style and for what you're looking for. So this, this skirt here is absolutely beautiful. It's a silk gauzy skirt. You could put this over anything and wear it with any shoe. This would be also um, going on top with a bandeau or a bathing suit underneath. And then when we were walking in, we both, it, it caught both of our eyes. This, yes. this, this is very lightweight, very versatile. Again, the color and then the flowiness and the ease of it. Yeah. Um, being able to wear, again, this you can wear anywhere. It doesn't have to just be the Bahamas. You can pick here, here in Stewart as well. I was gonna um, say, is this to you kind of more like a beach type dress or would you wear it going out? I would do both. Yeah? Yeah. It just can, depends on what shoes and accessories. Ex exactly, exactly. Yeah. Certain fabrics work better, right? When it's hot and humid some wrinkle a lot i know linen is very nice but it yeah. wrinkles yes so um, certain fabrics you recommend we should stay away from i i don't have a preference per se again it's what you're comfortable with and what you feel yeah like you want to um, right you know wear for the day right. well you found this for you <laughs> i found this for me <laughs> couldn't help myself it, it's another piece again that can be used to wear as a bathing suit cover-up. Yes. It could be used as, um, you know, a scarf situation. You could just do a, a number of things with it. All right, so now that we have all these wonderful pieces, uh, I think one or two of them will end up working, but we'll see because you never know until you actually have it on. So, Absolutely. Yeah, let's go and uh, try these pieces on. Yeah. Ooh, do you, do you like that? How do you feel in this? Um, yeah. I mean, I like the shape of it. I like the length of it. I mean, you are a, a very lucky woman where you're tall and thin <laughs> and pe things just like hit you in the right places, so. Oh, thank you. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'll think about this one a little bit. Not totally sold. Oh my goodness, this right. skirt is beautiful on you. I'm not but feeling it for whatever reason. The skirt it's or the top or the I whole thing? I think the whole combination. Okay. <laughs> I'll think about it. <laughs> All right. It looks very, very it looks comfortable. Absolutely fantastic on you. It fits so. perfectly. It hits you in all the right places. Um, and it's so versatile. You could wear this with anything. It's perfect for you. It's made for you. I, I like the color. It's very vibrant. Yes. So, yeah, yeah, I think this is a keeper. So, beach or at some tiki bar somewhere. Exactly, <laughs> flip flops or you can elevate it with some stacked heels yes. and or wear a bathing suit underneath yes. and you can just keep going. This is a winner. <laughs> yes. This is a winner. Good job. I like this one. Okay. Uh, what to wear where, what exactly is it? And can you give me an example so that the viewers understand how wonderful of a service that will be when that is fully up and running? Thank you for giving me that opportunity. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I found out that I was spending a lot of time researching when I would t was traveling and I needed to know what to wear for a certain month or a certain time of the year or a certain restaurant. Having to look at a resort and, and maybe making a few phone calls or trying to look at their website and, and looking at, you know, their, their gallery of yes. like what people are wearing behind, you yes. know, and the scenes. Mm -hmm. Each place really does have kind of its own fashion sense. Yeah. So some resorts would require resort wear other mm -hmm. places you can get away with high-end athletic wear yeah. or leisure wear. Yes. So, and you don't want to show up with a suitcase full of leisure wear. Right. And then everyone else is in resort wear. Yes. Will people be able to put in a picture into your website or your app? I would love that. Yes. yes. Absolutely. I want it to be collaborative. Yes. And I want people to show 
what they're wearing mm -hmm. when they're going, you know, to a winery or what have you. This is what I'm wearing. This is what I'm seeing. You know, it's building a community of like helping each other. Yes, I, that sounds wonderful. And I think yeah. a lot of people will find it very helpful to have a website or an app to go to yeah to get some tips on that because it's not easy as you're exploring this beautiful world right uh, you know then you're all helping each other so mm -hmm. I'm going to Alaska and I've never been yeah you can pack more smartly correct you can you don't have to pack in just in case if you know exactly what will fit that occasion right then you can pack less right you know you don't have to Play it safe and just wear the same old boring stuff right can... <laughs> so i have a question for you are you really going to wear this color are you going to have i am Is... going to wear that color because <laughs> i bought that knowing we're going to go to the bahamas right and i envision that people there wear very bright colorful outfits so i'm going to feel like i kind of fit in exactly so what to know. wear where exactly <laughs> So, so thank you so much. <laughs> Cheers. You're so welcome.